Now, Knox Goes Away is a 2024 movie that deals with a hit man with a severe case of dementia and how he helps his son get away with murder. And here are five reasons you should watch Knox Goes Away. Coming up, Unsaid Talks Hard. Knox Goes Away tells an elaborate story of John Walker Knox, a decorated, thorough, and loyal contract killer who knows how to get rid of bodies and hide the evidence. But John has been off a bit lately, you know, forgetting details on his own assignments. I mean, nothing major, just mistakes he typically doesn't make. So John goes to his organization's doctor and finds out that he has an aggressive and rapid form of dementia, giving him not only months or years, but a mere couple of weeks until he's forgotten everything and just about everyone. But while dealing with his diagnosis and mishaps on his assignments, in walks his estranged son, Miles, who needs his help desperately. Now, Miles has this teenage daughter who's been seeing this grown adult boyfriend over the Internet, and she meets up with him. But he takes advantage of her and rapes her. Now, Miles confronts the guy and ends up stabbing the rapist, leaving a bloody mess of evidence. Now, Miles needs his dad, who is skillful enough to get rid of a body and hide the evidence to make it look like Miles was never there. Although his dad agrees to help, he now has to formulate a foolproof plan while battling dementia that is eating at his brain every single day. So, will he pull it off? Well, that's something you just got to see. But why should you watch this movie? Reason number one. The Perfect Plan versus Dementia. Now, Knox Goes Away is about a hitman with dementia who must help his son get away with the murder of the man who raped his daughter. You see, John Knox's son brutally stabbed his daughter's rapist and left a bloody mess that ties all of the evidence, both physical and digital, to his son. But John must create a plan that removes his son's involvement, a plan that even for a person without dementia is almost impossible. Now, the steps John must go through in order to try to pull this cover up off makes it extra tough for him because each passing day, he is forgetting not only who people are, but also the tasks he must complete. <laughs> Trust me, you'll want to see how this movie ends. Reason number two, John Knox is already being investigated for murder. Now, Knox goes away, sees John Knox, a hitman with dementia who must help his son get away with the murder of the man who raped his son's daughter. Now, while creating the perfect cover up is hard enough for John Knox, he is also suffering from dementia, which makes the cover up next to impossible. Now, aside from the cover up, John Knox is actively being investigated by the police for the murder of three people, with one being his partner. Yes, John, while he and his fellow hitman partner was sent out on a mission to kill a couple of people, Forgetting who his partner was, he shot and killed his partner, and along the way, he made a few mistakes in the cover-up that will eventually lead to his arrest. But like I said, you gotta see how this ends. Reason number three, betrayal at its finest. Now, Knox goes away, sees a hitman with dementia who must help his son get away with the murder of the man who raped his son's daughter. Now, while dealing with that, plus a murder investigation of his own, we as an audience will witness betrayal when we least expect it. Because betrayal is at the heart of this entire movie. Betrayal will be used in this movie in very different ways. And this movie will make you think twice about how you treat others. It will make you think twice about loyalty. It will also make you think twice about love itself. I know, I know, I sound like a broken record, but you will want to see how this movie ends. Reason number four, end of life decisions. Now, when Knox goes away, John Knox, a hitman with dementia, tries to tie up loose ends on two separate murder investigations, with one involving his son who murdered the man who raped his son's daughter. Now, while trying to tie up these loose ends, John's memory began to quickly fade. And the main thing on his mind is saying goodbye to those he loves and making sure that they are financially secure. Now, this is a rather thought provoking concept, because if you knew you'd be dead within a few weeks, what would you do? Would you get right with God? Make amends with people you've had issues with. I mean, let us know what your thoughts is in the comments. Reason number five, Russia, Russia, Russia. Now, when Knox goes away, John Knox is a hitman with dementia who must help his son get away with the murder of the man who raped his son's daughter. A big part of creating this cover up is that Knox has an aggressive form of dementia that's giving him mere weeks to pull off before his mind goes completely blank. 
Now, though the rapid form of dementia makes pulling this cover up next to impossible, he is planning to create the cover up just in time before he forgets what really happened. Now, if this sounds familiar, it has been said that both the Russian and the United States government used to test for hypnosis to create slipper cells. I mean, these people would integrate into foreign lands, and when the time was right, they would commit assassinations and completely forget they were ever involved. Now, Knox Goes Away is about a hitman with dementia who must help his son get away with the murder of the man who raped his daughter. Now, Knox Goes Away is a thrilling and sophisticated movie, and we get an introspective look at how one person can mean many things to different people. And this also opens up a dialogue about the effects and struggles of dementia. Now, whether you see John Knox as a good guy or a bad guy, you have to empathize with his struggle as we all know on some level how dementia can affect not only the individuals, but the families and friends. I mean, this is never something you should face alone. And until next time, when said talks hard.